saying that I am actually here with the good ones of the story, right? I guess it's lovely so. meeting you both, Matt and Michael. How are you feeling about all this that is going on, the excitement, the fans, the world premiere of the third season of Noricos? I'm really insane. excited. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen anything yet. Really? Yeah. yeah, and I've only seen the first episode. What is uh, so attractive about this story? I think uh, the danger, the, uh, the intrigue, yeah, the sort of the, and also the kind of different points of view that you get. You get a whole, you get brought into a whole world that people don't really know about, but mm -hmm. that is based on things that really happened. And I think, you know, so it's you're learning about something really crazy as well as being there. It's one of the great things about the show. You, you get to see the different perspectives from each side, from the DEA, from you know, from the law enforcement side, and then from the cartel. You used to watch Narcos before. I watched it a little bit. I hadn't actually seen it before I um, got the role. I'd heard of it, uh, but as soon as I got the audition, I, yeah, I started watching it. Who was your favorite character? Oh, gosh. Agent uh, Peña? Sure, yes. That's, <laughs> that's, the, that's the right answer. Yes. I have to say Agent Peña. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, um, Pedro Pascal, Agent Peña, he said that he trained with real agents from the DEA and the FBI. How did you guys train yourself? That's funny. The first uh, time when I, I heard I got the role, I got an email from Pedro um, and uh, basically saying, "Don't go to Quantico; they will fire rubber bullets at you." So I, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't train in that way. But we were lucky enough to have Chris Feistel, the real Chris, on board. Right. So the person who's my character is based on Chris Feistel, who's a retired DA agent, was a consultant on the show, mm -hmm. and so he came to Cali and. He trained us in weapons training, showed us how to clear a room, and then took us around the city to a lot of places where things really happened. Uh, I imagine you guys uh, learned a lot about uh, weapons and explosives. Did anything ever go wrong on set while filming, maybe? Any inconvenience? Not wrong, uh, but there was it was, I mean, thrilling and nerve-wracking sometimes. We had... Uh, Squibs set up like mini explosives to go off when uh, you know guns would be fired, and so I remember being uh, like at the side of a wall, you know, having to cross over a door, and I knew that all these squibs were ready to explode and go off. And uh, they call action, and uh, I just had this intense look of fear on my face, and run over and just glass spraying everywhere, and you know just trying to escape unscathed, which I did, but it was fun and terrifying. Yeah. I shot a blank by accident once. You weren't there for that, but it was one of my scenes. Where I was like, <laughs> you know, the, we have blank bullets, so they're loud. They sound like gunshots. And I was like, okay, yeah. And then this week, maybe I'll just, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. And, I, and I, boom, and it just went off. <laughs> Everyone was like, what just happened? And I was like, everything was fine, but it was. Or is it more fun to be on the right side or to be on the dark side? Uh, I, I haven't gotten to be on the dark side that much. I mean, I think it's definitely there's a, there's there's definitely levels to that that are very fun. Mm. Always when there's complexity, that's the most interesting. Um, I think the fun about being on you know the good side or whatever, if you can say it, you know, it's not black and white, but well, right. but you know, on the law enforcement side was learning about the real stuff. I don't think you could sit down with a cartel boss and ask him how things would work. That might not be a safe thing to do, or they might not be willing to talk. But getting to sit and spend hours talking with an actual DEA agent about what that life is like. Right. What did you learn from them? Really a lot about how much surveillance it takes. Mm -hmm. um, and Heart, right? Courage. Heart, vigilance. And, and, yeah, and vigilance, sort of, and determination. Like, mm -hmm. you have to just... One of the things that you, you wouldn't want to see in a show because it would be boring is when you sit on a house and you watch for day after day. They see who comes out, who goes. You know, that kind of thing. I mean, there's no shortcuts. You have to just put in the time. Would you have chosen to become an agent if you were not actors? It's never something I thought that, that I would do. That wasn't my plan either. I, I did find myself asking myself, like, would I be any good at this? <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't know that I would. I don't think I would. Yeah. I know that you are pretty good uh, at painting graffiti, right? Ah. Huh. Have you ever dedicated a graffiti to a special woman, maybe? Sure, sure, yeah. of course, yeah. Uh, this is the city for graffiti. Yeah. <laughs> this is, it's it is. There's a lot everywhere. I, I sort of like, you know, I was uh, a young sort of criminal and I've left that behind, but uh, I still do love to draw. In your case, you were decided to become an actor, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I took, I think, uh, graphics in school for maybe uh, four weeks and then dropped out because really I just spent all that time drawing cubes. I got a little bit bored. I'm not a very good drawer, but yes, yeah, so I just went into. Yeah. Are you guys surprised about this um, massive success of Narcos without even premiering the third set, the third season? You mean in terms of the response? Yeah. It's been exciting, you know, I mean, yeah, we'll, 
it's, it's definitely acceptable. Do you have any memorable win that you can share with us? Uh, <laughs> Colombia is a very fun place, I guess. Yes. Yeah, there was one time when we were shooting uh, outside somewhere, and um, we were having a very serious conversation, and this guy who was like, what was he selling, bootleg DVDs? I forget what he was doing, but he just kept wandering into the shot. He just kind of, like, we would be in the middle of, like, a thing. Like, really Intense serious. conversation. And then yeah. you just see this guy, like, like, he would just come <laughs> in on the side, like, from the side of the frame, you know? Yeah. And then he would, like, leave, and we would do another take, and you would just see he him, like, coming in the background, like... For how long were you here in Colombia? Eight months. Oh, that's a pretty long time. Yeah. Did you guys learn some Spanish? Well, you already speak Spanish. Yo, yo aprendí español desde niño. Ah, habla perfecto. Sí, no perfecto, pero, pero sí. Hubiese hecho esta entrevista en español, lo hubiese sido más. Pero el pobrecito más. No entiendo, no entiendo. No entender. Más, no entender. Muchas gracias. Gracias.